Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball. Today I am bringing you a protective gear comparison and overview. All right guys, like I just said, I'm gonna bring you a comparison slash overview of multiple companies. We got HK Army in the building, Infamous. We've got Exalt, we've got Planet Eclipse. First, I'm gonna start off with the elbow pads. Let's bring on in the elbow pads and we'll take a look at some overview of each. All right, guys, like I said, elbow pads. I've got Exalt, Planet Eclipse, Infamous, and HK. I'm going lowest to highest in price point, starting out no matter what, any elbow pad, $45 to $60 or so. So within $15 of each other. Let's hop into the Exalt T3 elbow pads that retail uh, $45. Bucks. Uh, Exalt T3. They are light, they are comfortable. They do come with uh, moisture wicking material in here to help get rid of the, you know, the sweat, the stuff that you're gonna endure on a day of paintball. It does have tri-layer protection here as well, which is gonna be talking about their padding. These things are, they're very nice. It's got a good pad, it's not too much, and it's not too little. It does come with a built-in half hand on the actual elbow pad itself, which is nice. Helps you keep it in place, it wraps around your thumb. But the only thing I would say, these they're not padded at all, so it's just there merely to help hold the elbow pad in place. Um, yeah, so these are the T3 Exalt elbow pads for 45 bucks, I would recommend. I mean, they're a great pad if you don't have a ton of cash to spend, and you're gonna well spend it in other areas, tank, copper, gun, etc. yeah, they're great pads. The moisture wicking, the half hands is a nice touch. And boom, on to the next. For $10 more, $54.95, the Planet Eclipse uh, Phantom Pads, which are very nice. Um, so these, let's pull one of these bad boys out. Tons of padding. These ones are definitely a little bit more heavy duty than the Exalt ones, just depends. Are you looking for a ton of padding? You just want something to protect you just enough and to where it's not uncomfortable. These ones have a very nice bend system in here with their sewing. And then these ones actually do have a half hand as well, but this half hand, it is padded, so you can take a bounce shot or two and have that comfortability on the front face of your hand. Um, yeah, and like I said, these things also have the moisture wicking material. They do have elastic straps up top, which are a little bit more heavy dutier, duty, duty, more heavy duty, dutier than the Exalt ones they put in um, the elastic on the top, and they also have this outer covering of material as well to help keep the elbow pad in place on your arm. So once again, 45 bucks for the Exalt T3s, 55 bucks for the uh, newer style HD Core Phantoms by Planet Eclipse. Very nice pads. These things, they, they, they're thick. They have a lot of padding on them. So on to the next, which I like this one. These are the infamous ones. And these ones retail at $55 as well. But instead of being super big, bulky with a lot of padding, and not that these are uncomfortable by any means, but these are designed for the more tournament style player. They're very sleek, they're very slim, and they're very small. So as you can see here, obviously they use nice ventilation as well. Um, so these are called the Pro DNAs by Infamous. And as you guys can tell, it's, it's padded, but it's very, very light padding. This is meant to slide easily underneath a tournament style jersey and not to be super noticeable and super bulky. I mean, you see a lot of guys out there, let's just say on the woods ball field and they just got tons of padding and, and armor on. I mean, these are sleek. These are for a tournament style player. That's why um, Infamous designed these to be exactly that way. This one also has a half hand. I like how the mesh and the half hand allows good, very, very good breathability. So, and it's got the little infamous skull in there. Adds a nice little touch. So these are the infamous pads. Like I said, these ones are meant more for a series style tournament player that doesn't want a bunch of bulk um, trapped up underneath their jersey. And once again, retail price, 55 bucks. Lastly, let's move on to the HK Crash pads. These ones retail at $60. HK Crash, these things, you're, you want padding? This is your guy. These things are big. They are going to give you a lot of protection. I mean, Mark, as you can see, you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's, there's a lot of, 
There's a lot of things going on here with the padding. I could hit you with a baseball bat. Yes, you could. You probably wouldn't feel it. Not to mention, they have anti-slip skids on the inside for what's not sliding around and, and, and falling off of you if you take a dive or you're crawling around in the woods. These are actually like sticky, will stick to the inside of your jersey. They also as well, a lot of these do have like that moisture wicking neoprene to gather sweat and odor so it's not super uncomfortable on your arm. And they do have straps up top, which will help you keep them very nice and tight. When you put the elbow pad on up top, you can actually strap that down so it's not sliding around on you. Hey, you got to warn us when you're going to pull up the gun yeah, show. Yeah, the gun show. Just kidding. But, and the half hands too. So half hands and they are padded as well. So these are, these crash pads are very, very heavy duty. So we went from, you know, protective down here with the Exalt T3s, lightweight, um, still protective no padding in the half hands to pretty pretty heavy duty style with the planet eclipse with padded half hands as well to the infamous stuff which is meant for more of the tournament player yes it is padded but it's very light and very sleek not super bulky and then you went to the ha army crash pad just sent it to the moon baby this is very thick very durable and uh if this is what you guys are into, check them out, shoplomopaintball.com, and we are going to go on to knee pads next. Real quick before we move on. Go ahead. Do you feel that the style of player and the type of player, like, feel that you play on has a bearing on what kind of pad you should buy? Like, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're strictly a woods ball guy and you're doing a lot of crawling around all the time in rugged woods, I would highly recommend getting a thicker pad, i.e. crash pads or the Planet Eclipse ones. If you're a more tournament style player, I would definitely recommend the Infamous Pads or the Exalt T3s. Uh, they're lighter and they have less padding, but still enough to protect you from a bad slide or dive. Okay. So, yeah. All right, guys, on to the knee pads. Lowest to highest price point, Infamous Knee Pads, retailing at $49.95. Exalt Free Flex, $54.95. We've got the Planet Eclipse. Phantoms, $54.95, and then the HK Army Crash Pads, $54.95. So they're all within, you know, $5 of each other. All right, so let's start off with the infamous knee pads. Uh, same thing with the elbow pads, Mark. What do you think these are designed for? I think they're designed Agility. For, for the only pro players, the Ooh, best of the best. Baby. So as you guys can see, they're very small. They're, they're dainty. They do have some knee padding, but they're meant for you guys to have, you know, some protection, but at the same time have very, very uh, good mobility, I'd say. You know what I'm saying? There's not, they're not too bulky. Yeah, there's they're, no restriction. Yeah, there's no anything. restriction. They bend well. They're not gonna, they're not gonna slow you down if you're at the start gate, the buzzer goes off and you can't barely run because you got a bunch of padding on your knees. But they're very nice. They do come with the, oh, oh, what would you call that? It's not, uh, super like grippy gel. awesomeness. It's like super grippy gel awesomeness at the top and also at the bottom too. So those are very nice. And in the back, it's got the breathable mesh and the whole pad is moisture wicking material. So when you get sweaty out there, it's going to absorb that sweat and it's not going to be stuck to your skin for, for too long, depending on how, how long you're wearing them. So these are the infamous ones. They're retailing at $49.95. They are meant truly for the more serious speedballer tournament style player. I mean, not saying can't wear them, but I'm pretty much certain that's who these were designed for. On to the next thing, Exalt Free Flex. Um, $54.95, like I said, I like these because there is a ton of padding as well. Um, I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's a thick amount of padding on these bad boys. And they also do have the strap on the bottom as well. So it helps keep these things in place on the bottom of your leg so they're not sliding down. And furthermore, these also mark, you know, as you can see, have like the elastic band to also help prevent slipping and sliding uh, down your leg and out of place. So I like these. These are firm, these are thick. And let's see, they do have a nice little pocket there. What do you think you can put in there, Mark? Money. Money? So you're going to keep your monies in there? Keys? Would I put my keys, keys? in my knee pad? I probably wouldn't put your keys in there, man. That that might hurt when you when you, when you you slid down on them. But yeah, Exalt Free Flex. I like these in the back. Obviously, these also, with most of the knee pads on the market, have breathable neoprene and stuff to absorb the sweat. So, all right, cool. On to those. 
Planet Eclipse. The reason I like these Planet Eclipse Stanley pads, Exalt, yes, you have a strap on the bottom, but this has a strap on the bottom, also a strap on the top so it doesn't slide down. Like, what am I gonna call it? The front of your knee, your knee would normally be right in the center of here. It also has padding on both sides for your outer knee. If you're, you know, kneeling down in an awkward position, insert weird joke there. And, uh, and the removable foam pad, right, Mark? Yeah. Like that? Sick. And then also the moisture wicking neoprene around there to absorb sweat in moisture, as most of these knee pads do as well. But for 55 bucks, I like the strap bottom top. And these things are very, very durable, very padded. And like I said, if you guys um, want less padding, this, this piece will just pull out. You can pull that piece out and you'll be good to go. All right, onto the crash pads, which I call the volleyball knee pads. These things are heavy freaking duty over here. So these do retail 55 bucks as well. And these ones also have the strap at the bottom and they also have a strap up near the top so you can secure it bottom top. And it does have the nice moisture wicking material as well. Very breathable, very flexible. Um, these things, I would definitely recommend these for a, would you say like a woods ball player? Because these things, they're big. I mean, they are big. They're going to keep you protected, obviously. That's what it's supposed to do. But it's, it's a large knee pad. Um, definitely not knocking it. But I don't know. What would you say, Mark? Yeah, I mean, if you're the guy that likes to crawl through the brush and on top of the rocks and through the ravines. Then and this is you. That's all definitely long. you all yeah. day long. Your your pants will wear out before the knee pads. 100%. Go. Yeah, these are very thick. They're very dur durable and heavy duty. So guys. Um, like I said, or get a pair for your girl for her uh, gardening. Gar um, <laughs> oh, okay. Or volleyball. There you go. Volleyball, Which gardening. You whatever. brought up volleyball. Like what kind of sick bastard came up with a sport where girls need to jump and land on their knees on a hardwood floor? I know. That's true. Getting like, off topic, wow. but yes, very. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> like, so I hope you guys enjoyed the real quick kind of overview comparison of, well, of each. So are the, they have the neoprene oh, yeah. breathable. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I just sorry went over that, dude. Oh. All right, guys. Uh, on to what are we going on to, Mark? Well, I think I was curious. Huh? So these are the only ones with an open back. Yeah, yeah. I like that, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's something different. It's more flexible. You can bend your knee a little more easier. Breathability. Yeah, I like that. Right, That's cool. a good point. Let's, let's do some gloves. All right, onto the gloves. Let's do it. All right, guys. Onto the gloves now. Now I have the Vulcan Alpha gloves for the weekend warrior. About ten bucks. HK Army Pro Gloves, $34.95. Sicario Gloves by Infamous, $34.95. And then the Death Grip Gloves by Exalt, also $34.95. So basically, this is where we're at here. A $10 glove by Vulcan. This is the Weekend Warrior stuff. This is, um, you know, you've been shot in the hand too many times and you just want some hard exterior padding. You want movement with your fingers because the fingers on these gloves are cut off. And... Ultimately, you don't want to spend a bunch of money on gloves because you're not ready to fully commit. You're not playing tournaments. You just need something that's basically going to protect your hand. For 10 bucks, I'd recommend it. It does have a strap up top, so once you get the glove on, you can wrap it around your wrist. That way, uh, they're nice and secure on you. And boom, that's it. Alpha Glove is very basic, hard shell, and uh, it's a glove. It's also the one that your mom buys you when she comes into the pro shop because she doesn't want to spend 34 bucks. That's exactly days. right. You're going from weekend warrior stuff, like I said, onto more tournament style, getting serious into paintball. Pro gloves by HK Army. These things are very nice. Like I said, retail at $34.95. Uh, they do have, once again, the strap that goes around your wrist. Once you get it on, secures it so it's not going anywhere. Thing I like about this is on the backside, you can see. Even the fingertips have stickies on them, and the entire glove on the backside has grippies, so you've got a nice, let's just say you're, you're sliding, you're playing in the rain or the mud, you've got a good grip on your gun. It's not going anywhere because you've got the silicone tacking on the backside that helps keep a good grip on it. These are very comfortable. They've got a decent amount of padding, like this neoprene padding in here, so I like it. They're a cool looking design, and these are the HK Army Pro Gloves. Boom! Infamous Sicario. Now these things are very, very interesting because they're they're so lightweight. They're very slick. I mean, they're called Sicario. They're the Hitman gloves for a reason. You're looking, you're looking stealthy. You're looking like, uh, what did you say, Mark? What are you looking like out there? 
Like a hitman. He's looking like a freaking hitman. So, yeah, does have the strap up top for the wrist to keep him in place. Does have a little tacking on the inside as well. And they're like, yeah, they're super lightweight. There's absolutely no padding in here. But the thing I would say is, like the HK Army Pro Gloves, these things are like a non-slip. You can see all these, what are those even called? Is there a word? They're, little they're like little like oct bump. octagon bump type things that... Um, it's technology, I'm not... It is. No, uh, yeah. It's, it's huh? It's mind-blowing technology. Mind-blowing technology, that's what he said. Very, very nice, super light. Um, yeah, very slick. Like Mark said, you're looking like a hitman out there. So I've sold a lot of these in-store as well. So, uh, I mean, I'd Those are probably them. all, because yeah. uh, when you put the gloves on, would you typically put the half hands over the gloves or under the gloves? Or do you ignore your half hands? You I don't even, if I was going to wear gloves, I would just pull the half hand aside, not even use it. But if you're wearing those, you could wear those. Yeah, because these are meant to, so when you put thin. these Sicario gloves on, like they are very skin tight. They have a very good grip to them. So yeah, they're meant to be, they don't have any padding. Like I said, unlike the pro gloves, these are meant to just, hey, I've got my marker in my hand and it's not going anywhere and I'm low profile. I'm slick. All right. On to the death grip gloves. What did you call these gloves, Mark? They're the rapper gloves. They're the rapper. Everywhere now. All the hip hop artists are wearing them. All the hip hop artists are wearing them. You heard it here first. Mark, Lone Wolf Paintball, baby. Um, these are, yeah, the death grip gloves. These ones also do on the inside. Yeah, they're all skeleton print. Pretty cool. This is also silicone tacking. It's very, very sticky. So once again, you got your marker in your hand. It's not going anywhere. This version has the two fingers cut off. You trigger fingers, you keep them moving out there. And this one does have a nice amount of the neoprene padding along with like the, um, the raised up skeleton bones on here. So this is also padding to help protect hits from your hand. Um, super comfortable. And yeah, these the grips. I like how all of these gloves, other than your basic weekend warrior, are integrating like silicone tacking on the back so it's a non-slip. It's almost like wearing uh, a football glove. A lot of the professional football players are wearing the gloves. As soon as they catch that ball, it's nice and tight and not going anywhere. They pretty much put that technology on a lot of the higher end paintball gloves. So guys, a quick comparison. Once again, these are all available at lonewolfpaintball.com. Carry all sizes, varieties. And uh, I hope this helps. If you guys can't see them in person, I hope this quick overview uh, helps you guys out. And we are on to what, Mark? Slider shorts. On to slide shorts. Here we go. All right, guys. And lastly, we went over the elbow pads, the knee pads, the gloves. Now we're on to slider shorts to help the lower layer stay protected. We're jumping into the Exalt Free Flex shorts, retailing $54.95. And the drum roll, Mark. The infamous Pro DNA slide shorts, retailing $99.95. I'll dive into this in just a few minutes on why they're so expensive. First off, Free Flex Shy Shorts. Shy Shorts. Free Flex slide shorts. These are very nice. Um, $54.95. First thing you're going to notice, this does have the silicone tacking all on the inside so it's not sliding down on you. I like that because it's going to be A, comfortable, and it's not going to irritate the skin, and B, these aren't going to fall down on you. Next, most important piece to me and to a lot of you uh, gentlemen viewers out there, it does have a very nice padded... Um, junk protector. Yeah, junk protector. We're, I'm just going to say gentle protector, but junk, gentle, whatever you want to call it. Very um, nice padded And this front video region. was demonetized. <laughs> and used the... Oh, man. We used the G word, J word, G words, J words. All right, so, yeah. Yep. Oh, junk just, protector. Junk protector. And then you've got your slide um, for your hips on each side. Which helps, too, if you're a Yeah, obviously. Side. Yeah, definitely it, it helps. The padding helps, and the upfront part is the most important piece for it. So, is slide there, shorts, what's up? Is there buttocks pads? I was going to flip it over and show you. There's not. It's just a bunch of that um, stretchy, moisture-wicking material that obviously... Uh, you know it's gonna get hot and sweaty out there, so you want the thin stuff that's very breathable and it'll help keep you cool and the sweat off your butt cheeks out there. So, all right, cool. Free flex uh, slide shorts right there. Now you're thinking, okay, 55 bucks. Why am I going to pay $100 for some infamous slide shorts? They got you, skulls on them. If your protection down below is important to you, let me, let me show you why. First off, these do have like targeted zones to help keep 
the warm thing, your muscles ready so you don't get cold. Obviously, these are the, the free flex exalt ones. They're nice, but they're, I mean, they're, they're basic. These things are like literally designed by Nike out there. These things are absolutely insane. Um, they do have, I don't even know where to start. Over here, see all these slits, Mark? All of these down the side of your hip, they're all removable padding so you can wash them. And they're very, very thick, very durable. On the inside as well, I was going to show, you can probably see it from the outside though. It does have a ton of this ventilation, this mesh ventilation throughout. So it helps keep sweat and airflow coming in. So you're staying cool out there. The only thing I don't like about these, to be completely honest, is it doesn't have a padded junk protector. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of a, a big thing to me. It doesn't have a padded junk protector, but it does come with built-in knee pads. See these down here, Mark? Yep. Bam. So these are very comfortable. You can, uh, they're flexible and they're, I mean, they're flexible and they're hard at the same time, if that makes any sense. So they're bendable, but these, these rubber things, they're very, very hard. And these things go down. I mean, they're obviously like a full coverage, full coverage deal. So, and, and the stretchability on these is absolutely amazing. Super comfortable. So you're getting the removable foam pads on the outside here for your hips. You're getting built-in knee pads as well. And like I said, this stuff is very breathable and it's very stretchy. Like this is some Under Armour Nike type stuff going on here. It's up to you guys if you think it's worth the money. If you want something, you want side shorts with the built-in knee pads on them. You want a very tight and yeah, like professional feel. These are the ones to go with. If you need something very basic that still works, gets the job done, and does have the upfront protection, uh, the Exalt slide shorts are the way to go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this extensive review from elbow pads, knee pads, gloves, slide shorts. Don't forget, all these items are available, shop.lonewolfpaintball.com. Head on over to the Jerky Den 2 for some of the best lean protein in the game. And until next time, stay tuned for the next video. Head, shoulders, knee pads too. <laughs> Elbows, yeah. Head, Yay. shoulders, knee pads too. Go, Mark. All right, we're out of here. Got to go.